a pulse. You're going to pulse three times. One, two, three. Stretch up and come onto your toes. Sorry, without losing balance. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. So you're going to go down. One, two, three. Squeeze everything up. And pulse. Two, three. When you rise up, I want you to think of pulling up your quads. Squeezing your bum. Squeeze your tummy. One, two, three. Use those arms. I kind of push them back and it helps me feel like I'm engaging my back as well. Three, and nice. We've got 15 seconds. Squeeze. Tummy pulls in. Good job. Five. And squeeze. Everything connected. Three more. Two, one. Very nice. You're going to go down into a little squat. Hold it here. Make sure your tummy's pulled in. Weight through your heels. And then you're going to go with your right leg, pushing your right knee out. Let's go in five. Three, two, one. Tummy pulled in. So you're in a little squat. And you're just pulsing that one knee out to the side. You're staying down in a little squat. Back nice and straight. Tummy pulled in. This leg that's supporting stays exactly still. That's perfect, everyone. Tummy pulled in. This time we're going to do 30 on one leg, 30 on the other. And squeeze. We've got five more seconds. Phew. Keep down low. Wait for your heels. Three, two, one. Change sides. Other leg. Stay down. Your weight stays down low. Back. Nice and flat. Weight through your heels. And squeeze. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Shoulder blades down and back. Pulse. 10 seconds. Woo! Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rest for 15 seconds. The glutes are starting to work. The next one, you're going to stand on your left leg. Knee a little bit bent. You're going to step out and back. You're just pointing this leg. This leg has got no weight on it. So all our weight is on this left leg. Let's go in three, two, one. Tummy pull, then we tap and back. Tap side and back. Tap the leg out to the side on the floor. Tap. So you can actually touch the floor, Felix. You can put it down, so tap. Tap. Let me stand back so you can see me. There we go. And tap. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders down and back. You're going to keep your weight evenly on the standing leg. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Good. We've got five seconds. Squeeze. And tap. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. Standing up tall. Let your legs release a little bit. We're going to go the other side in three, two, one. Bending down on that right leg. Left leg tap out and back. Tap. In this position, remember to pull your tummy in. Shoulders down and back. Good. So this position stays nice and fixed. And we tap. My weight stays evenly on this leg. I'm not changing my weight. It's all on the standing leg. Tummy pulled in. That's it. We've got 15 seconds. Squeeze. That's it. Bend the leg you're standing on a little bit. So you're having to work this glute. For five, three, two, one. And stand up. Release those glutes. Just roll down, touch the floor. And curling up. Nice. Last one in standing. We're going to stand on your left leg. Whoopsie. Don't lose your balance. That's what not to do. And we're going to take this leg out to the side. So we're just doing hip abduction. Nice and solid on this left leg. Tummy pulled in. Legs go. Out and in. Make sure you're not bending over. So if you want to reach that arm up, it helps you keep your balance. Make sure you're not doing that. So we're working these hip abductors. Stretch. Tummy pulled in. That's awesome. Keep going. As you breathe out, pull your belly button in and squeeze. Good job. 20 seconds left. Whew. Squeeze. Keep going. For 10. Nice. Five. Three, two, one. Very nice. Rest for 15. We're changing sides. The same thing, other side. Make sure when you take the leg out, you're not bending over. 
straight. And we're going to go up and down. Let's go. So we're lifting up and down. We're adjusting the hip. Try and keep your waist nice and long. I don't want you to be moving your waist too much. So your waist stays dead still. And you're just lifting up from the hip. Up and down. Foot to the floor and down. Let's go. Keep going. Down and up. Felix, I think you've frozen. Up and down. Tummy pulled in. Nice. And squeeze. 15 seconds. Tummy in. Turn that foot down. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Come back onto your hands and knees. We're doing our other side. But in between a set of push-ups, just to let our hips rest a little bit. Because although we're working the one leg, we use both. So another set of push-ups. In between, shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, back nice and flat. And let's go. Down and up. Breathing out as we come up. Pull that belly button in. Back stays dead flat. That's awesome job, guys. Keep going. Making sure you're tilting at the pelvis. Tummy pulled in. Perfect, everyone. Nice. 20 seconds left. Squeeze your bottom. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders down your back. Woo, we got this. Five. Three. Two. One. Well done. Come back into a child's pose. Have a little stretch. Okay, right back onto your hands and knees. We've got to do the other leg. So I'm now moving my right leg. Make sure you do the other side. Okay, you'll soon feel if you've got the wrong leg. Right. From here, we're going straight into our jaunty kick. Shoulders down your back. Back nice and flat, no arching. And let's go. Kicking up and down. Tummy pulled in. Make sure you don't arch your back as you kick that foot up. The temptation is to move your back too much. And then you're actually not working your butt at all. You're purely working your back muscles. 15 seconds. Foot to the ceiling. Keep on there when those shoulder blades pull down. That is perfect form, everyone. Amazing. Squeeze your tummy in till you're back. Away from the floor. 15 seconds. Squeeze. Tummy in. Four, five. Three, two, one. Very nice. We're going to go into the fire hydrant. Same leg. Let's go. Let's go straight into it. Out to the side. Keep thinking of pulling that belly button in towards your spine. Back nice and flat. Shoulder blades down and lifting up and down. We've got 30 seconds. That's awesome. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out as you lift that leg. And squeeze. 15 seconds. Nearly there. Five. Three. Two. One. Whew. Good job. Come and lie on that side that you were not moving. So the opposite side. So I'm using my right leg, so I'm lying on my left side. We're going into our clam for 30 seconds, and then the stinger. Right, let's go in. Three, two, one, let's go. Opening and closing for the clam. Breathing out as you lift. Make sure those hips don't roll back. Keep your feet off the ground. You don't want to be doing this. I'm exaggerating, but you want to keep your hips facing forward. Good job. Squeeze. We've got 15 seconds, and then we're going to... Right, let's go. Now we add the, the stinger. Extend. And close. Open. Extend. Feet. Nice. We've got 10 seconds. Woo! Down. Tummy pulled in. Five, three, two, and one. She's well done. Stretch out this top leg in line with your body. 
feet underneath leg there. Very good. From here, turn your foot down towards the floor. And then you're going to lift that hip up and down. From here, really make sure that you're not just moving your waist. So you want to keep your waist nice and fixed. And it's just from that glute. You can see the difference. If I'm doing this, my whole body's moving. If I hold it still here, it's just from that glute. 20 seconds left. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Should be feeling it here. Nice. Waist nice and still for five. Three, two, and relax. Well done. Come lie your back. You can keep the band around your knees. We're going to go into sit-ups. One set, hands either by your side or behind your head. Feet a little bit apart, knees over your hips. Let's go. Breathing out to come up. Curling up all the way and curling down. As you come up, you want to breathe out. Tuck your tummy in, rolling up. You can do crunches. Breathing out. Same thing. Chin up to your chest. Head and shoulders lifted. Or your hands are here, coming up all the way. If your hands are behind your head, they got to stay behind your head the whole way. I see a lot of people not in your group doing this, they throw their hands forward, and that's a little cheat. So you either keep it here, or your hands stay in front. So there's no momentum, it's purely muscle. Nice, we've got 10 seconds. Curl it down. Breathing out to come up. Three, two, one. Very nice. Straighten out your legs. You're gonna take your band off your legs for now. And we're going to do our long sitting with our twist. So from here, if you want to bend your knees, I want you sitting right on your sit bones. So if you're sitting with your legs out front and you're slouching, please bend your knees so that you're right on your sit bones. Otherwise, with your legs out. Arms out in front of you, shoulders down and back. Jig flat back. So Phoenix, you're sitting a little bit like that. I want you to sit up. So bend your knees. So that you're right on your sit bones. Perfect. Much better. And we're going to twist. Shoulder blade pulled down. And back. Now keep your feet together. The temptation is for the feet to slide back. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Make sure those hips don't move. That's it. Pull your shoulder blades down and back. So as I'm pulling back, if I'm now pulling to my left side, my left hip wants to move back, but I've got to fight to keep that hip staying there. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. 15 seconds. Beautiful. Squeeze. And straight. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Have a little stretch reaching forward. Okay, from here, we're going to put the band around your feet. And we're going to go into our single leg stretch. So, my 
Breathing out as you take. Really try and get your opposite shoulder towards your knee. It's not just elbows. I'm really twisting my upper body. So we're getting that oblique working. Nice. 20 seconds. Breathing out as you change. Make sure your back stays glued to the floor. Don't lift it up, don't arch. We've got 10 seconds. Squeeze. Five. Three. Two. One. And hug those knees in. Well done. Good. Put the band around your knees again. And we're going to go into our oblique twists. So I'm putting, I mean, sorry, our pelvic curl series. So I'm putting my lower body band again around my knees. Lying on my back. Why are you changing? I'll just show you. We're going to come up into a pelvic curl and curling down. And then we're going to add to it from there. Okay. So let's start with our basic pelvic curl. Breathing out as you lift. Lifting up those hips. Keep that pelvis tilted. And curling down. Breathing out. Push through your heels. Squeeze and lift. And down. Very nice. Make sure you've got that control. You're working through your spine. You're pulling the belly button in. I've got that tilt. And down. Nice. When we get to 45 seconds, we're going to hold it there. Breathing out to lift. Tummy pulled in. Squeezing that glute. And down. Five seconds. Tummy in all the time. Three. Two, one. Now hold it up here. Move yourself a little bit closer to your feet. And we're going to lift the heels up and down. Let go. So from here, you've got that tilt in your pelvis. The only thing that's moving is your heels lifting up and down. That's perfect. Breathing out as you lift. Squeeze. Keep pulling that belly button in towards your spine. You're using your lower abdominals to pull. It's like your pelvic floor muscles. Good. And squeeze. Tummy pull in. Keep that tilt in your pelvis so your butt is squeezing. We've got 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Hold the heels up. Reconnect your tilt. And let's take the knees out and in. When you take the knees out, I don't want to see your hips drop. So we're not going down and opening. We keep the hips up and we just do a little open and close. As much as you can manage, keeping everything connected and still. Beautiful. 20 seconds to go. Squeeze. Tummy in. Very nice. Pushing the knees out and in. For five. Four. Keep tilting the pelvis. Three. Tummy pull in. Two. One. Very nice. Hold it up there. Squeeze your bottom. Tilt your pelvis. We're going to take the hands from the floor. Thumbs to the floor above your head. And pushing down. Tummy pull in. You keep it on your toes. So we go thumbs to above the head, palms down to the floor. Tummy in. And squeeze. Spread your fingers nice and wide so your hands are very active. Strong arms. Tummy in, tilt that pelvis. We've got 20 seconds. Lift those heels. 10. Tummy pull in.
keep the band there. Don't move the band. It stays around your forearms. We're going to have, go into a little forward bend. Back nice and straight, elbows up. And from here, you're going to do a tricep extension. And I'll show you closer. So the band is literally going to stay on my tummy. My elbows are up. Let's go. Shoulders down and back. Squeeze. So it's not the most comfortable having the band digging in, but you get a much better tricep extension. Have the band sort of mid forearm. Tummy pull there. Let's go. Squeeze. And extend. Really think of focusing on your triceps. We've got 20 seconds left. Keep those elbows up. Make sure your elbows aren't here. The elbows stay high. 10. Squeeze. 3. 2. 1. Well done. Bicep curl. I'm going to go back onto my knees. It just means I can show you closer. You can stay standing if you want. You're going to have your elbow in at your waist and you're going to do a bicep curl. If you need to grab the band shorter to make it harder, you can. Squeeze your bottom. Tummy pulled in. And let go. Your elbow stays fixed at your side. Tummy in all the time, no arching. The only thing that's moving is my elbow. Focus on that muscle, squeeze. So from here, you really want to think of pulling it closer. Nice, tummy pulled in, squeeze. Shoulders down and back. Lovely job. We've got 15 seconds. Nice. Whew. One more bicep, so then we're done. Three, two, one. Very nice. Let's change sides. So to set up, you're holding your band down, shoulder down and back. Elbow stays in at your waist. And let's go. Pulling up. And squeeze. Tummy pulled in all the time. Beautiful. And pulling out, tummy pulled in. Squeeze your bottom. Nice. Make sure that there's enough resistance from the whole way. So if your band is too floppy, hold it tighter. You want resistance and you're coming bringing that arm to your shoulder. We've got 10 seconds. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your tummy. Nice. Three, two, one. And relax it down. Well done. Come into a child pose. Have a little stretch. Stretching it out. Well done. Very nice. Your legs have a line your back. You're going to stretch out your back, stretch out the glutes because they work super hard. So we're going to do our figure of four stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then pull that left thigh into you. So you're gonna push your elbow into your right knee if you can, and pull that left thigh as close as you can manage. So you should feel the stretch here on your right bum. Nice, now from here, just put your left foot down on the floor, keep that right knee crossed over, and pull your knees down to the left side. So we're stretching out our lumbar spine at the same time now. Reach that right arm away. Stretch, look at it. Good, bring those legs back up, let's change. Left ankle over right knee. Pull the right thigh in towards you. I use my elbow to push into my knee to try and get more of a stretch and pull the thigh nice and close. Good job. Okay, put the right foot down, keep that knee crossed over, and you're going to pull those knees down to the right side. Try and get the knee onto the floor. Stretch that left arm away and look at it. So you're looking away from your knees towards your left hand. Very nice. Bring your knees back into your chest. 
poke into your chest, rock side to side. Good, and coming up into sitting. Well done, let's just give the shoulders a little roll. Bring arms and work on hard. Well done guys, I was actually lucky to do band class on a Thursday. I love those. I could do them every lesson. I won't, I promise, but I could. <laughs> All right, thank you so much everyone. We'll see you tomorrow morning. We'll see you Felix. And Laura, we won't see you. <laughs> no. Cheers guys, have a lovely day. Bye.